welcome back. I'm here again with my sifu David. And uh, David, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about uh, the Pak Sao drill in the Wang Chun Lung system. Certainly. Pak Sao is uh, one of the classic drills of Wing Chun. There are a handful of drills that are, com are commonly practiced all around the Wing Chun world, and Pak Sao is definitely one of those. Unfortunately, however, it's not done consistently in all branches of the Wing Chun family to get the result that we are trying to attain from it. Too many people think of Pak Sao as a defensive drill. They think that they're blocking punches. And I've seen variations where if the punches use semis and punches, that they're going across the line or they're going backwards and forwards on the line. Both of which are not going to achieve very, very much because if he's serious about trying to punch my head in and I go across the line, I'm just going to get hit again. What Pak so is for, as far as the way we view it, is it's to teach us how to attack. In fact, that's a common theme in all the Wong Sil and Wing Chun drills. They're all teaching us ways to attack. The main thing that we're learning from Pak so is to attack with the exact right timing. It's a timing drill. It's a distancing drill. And it's about aggressively going forward against an attack rather than running away from it. So we have some conditions that we apply to Pak so to ensure that we get the best result. The first condition is that unlike other families, in our family we practice Pak so out of range. I can't reach Morton, Morton can't reach me. Unless one of us leans in and tries to cheat, we can't get hit. But it's not a safety factor that we're taking into account. What we're taking into account is the ability to practice the technique to full extension. Because every technique needs to travel the full distance so that we appreciate how to get power at every point. If you only punch to a certain distance, or you only puck soul to a certain distance, your ability to use it at any distance further or closer is diminished because there's no continuity of energy. So when I'm delivering the puck soul action, I want to extend right through, aiming as if I'm hitting Morton in the chest, not the face. I'm aiming to hit him in the chest because I want to bring his hands down to a workable level. Even if he's punching at my head, I will still take my puck soul forward at the chest because that will enable me to control him somewhere between the elbow and the middle of the forearm. The worst mistake you can make is to stop the punches at the wrist or the fist. That's where the most power is. It's too hard to do that. So we drive into the center. At the same time, Morton is doing his punch full extension because he's developing his power so that this is not a one-way exercise. He's learning, I'm learning. We're both getting something out the drill. The majority of the drills in Wing Chun are, what's the right word for it? They're uh, complementary. I get something, my partner gets something. It's not all about me, it's also about him. What does Morton get? He's doing the most natural drill for developing power because he's hitting against resistance. So he's building up exactly the right muscles and joints and angles that will improve his punch. A few months practice of consistent puck style training and you'll feel a difference in your punch because it's very good for building that up. All right, now, time limits us for how much we can say, but let's have a quick look at the possibilities. The distance is out of range. The action is always without body movement. We don't do the puck cell by moving the body or moving the arms around. Everything is still, because I want to have a solid base from which to launch my attack. If I'm moving while I'm doing the puck cell, I'm probably weakening my position and when it's time to move in, I may mess up the angle. In a real life situation, I may shift against the first punch. If I have to just defend, I may have to move the body. But I don't feel that it's a, a successful way to train the drill to be shifting all the time. And we've tested this in a number of times and we find that the best results come from standing still. This is how my people taught it, this is how we practice it. Final thing is to do the drill loose and relax. Don't use rigidity. The punches need to be loose and natural. The puck style, think of the word, puck means slap. It doesn't mean push, it doesn't mean shove, it doesn't mean hit, it means slap. Perhaps not that kind of a slap, but it's loose and straight ahead. So every time he hits me as hard as he can, naturally and loosely, I'm doing the puck style the same. And then whenever I want to move in, I can pick the right timing to move in. So that I don't move in too late, and walk into a punch. I don't move in too early and walk into a punch. I move in at exactly the right time and I get deep into his stance so that I can control him. 
All the hand techniques that you know in Wing Chun, they can all be applied here. Doesn't matter what you want to use. You can use Pak Sao, Jat Sao. You can use your punch with Wu Sao. You can use Gan Sao actions, Quan Sao actions. Anything you want to do. So, for example, give a quick, quick run through of some of the possibilities. If I'm not a fan of using the Pak Sao on the inside and the punch on the outside, easy. Just reverse the shapes. Use the punch on the outside hand, which is potentially the stronger one anyway, and use Wu Sao to guard. And then follow up. If I want to use Jat Sao, I can take it from the outside and I can also take it from the inside and get the same result. If I don't want to punch, I don't have to punch. I can use palm strikes, chops, finger jabs if that's your area of fun and expertise. <laughs> your imagination is the only thing that limits you. Just don't let your imagination go into a world of fantasy. It's got to be an effective imagination so you start thinking about how to apply it. You can even use Puck to train when to use a kick because you're getting the same idea of the timing. When to do it. When to do it is when he's committed. So if Morton, is, if this is real life and he throws a punch to try and hit me, that's what my Puck has taught me to do. I'm not learning to block his punch, I'm learning to shoot like in a gunfight. He draws his gun, I draw my gun, bang, we shoot. I don't try to shoot his punch, so I don't try to block his punch. So no matter how quickly he comes in and tries to hit me, I've already hit him two times. This is the nature of Wong Tzu and Wing Chun. We attack the attack, we don't defend against the attack. That's a quick version of Pak Sao. Fantastic. Great. Thanks. No problem. <laughs>